Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is me Pratyush and today in this tutorial, I'm going to be giving you a quick walkthrough of how to use Buildify to create simple and epic looking GUI from scratch. So first of all, this is the very simple website where we are. Now, first of all, what you have to do is simply download the Buildify. So first of all, click on this get started option. After that, you will be headed up to Buildify website and then you can try out our Buildify demo. It is the free edition and it provides you with some basic widgets and also it allows you to export your code and you can go for the buildify pro if you want to create gui that look professional and modern all right you can add your pricing or for free version you can do is add zero over here and click on this i want this option in order to purchase it so you can download it for mac or for windows and after downloading it you can simply run the app let me show you so this is the buildify interface this is how it will look and then we give you a quick walkthrough how this work. So basically it is divided into three sections. The first one is widgets, second is preview and third is property layer and base property. These are the third column which basically consists of the three things. And every panel have its own different values and different properties. So let me show you. This widget panel over here contains the widget which you need to add. For example, label, button, entry, image, everything. And once you add it over here, then this preview section will give you a preview how your app will look when you will export it. And then you have the properties panel when you, where you can edit the property for the button, entry fill or the widgets you have added. And along with there, we have this layer option where you can get the layers and also to change the complete app property like the width, height of the app and application name, you can choose this base property. Let's start by creating a login page. So I'm going to be just hitting login over here and you can change it to turn off the resizable option or you can toggle it on. And also you can change the scaling and change the theme also. By the way, if you are using the pro version, then you can change the theme. And if you are using the free version, then you have to by default use the dark mode. And once you are done, what you can do now is change the width. For now, I have to like, set it for 800 and 600, which is great. You can change it and it will automatically change it over here. Let me show you. For example, I added 500. And as you can see, it has automatically changed the preview area into 500 and 600. So let's change it to like 800 again. All right, now this looks great. So first of all, what we are going to do is I will be kind of showing you how can you create a very basic interface from scratch. And in this tutorial series, we will be building more beautiful application. And I will be also trying to create application as per your comments. So first of all, let's add a frame. So this is the frame that we have basically. Now what we can do is change the width and height. So let me just change the width to like 550. Maybe it may be 5750. All right, that's great. And you can change the height like 550. All right, this looks really good. And you can even do change the border color and every single thing. Let's change the foreground color. Let's choose a nice kind of a dark color. By the way, you can, it is completely up to you what color you want. All right, this color looks great. So we are going to create a very simple uh, login page. So what we need is a button, right? So let's try to add a button. And as you see, this button looks weird, right? It has this property and it looks really weird. So what you can do is go over to here in the properties panel, you have different things. You have to change the foreground color. So let's change the foreground color to a nice kind of a wallet color. And there you go. You have this button. Now you can see there are some gaps over here in the corner. So when you change this corner radius, you can change the entire corner radius like this. All right, but there is a catch that you can see there are corner which are filled with another color. Now to fix it, what you have to do is simply go over to here to BG color and change the color to the background color which you have. For example, this one. Now you have a fully functional button. And also you can see that it has by default this hover which is red color. We want to change it. So just go over to this hover color and change the color to a nice kind of a Let's say pinkish color, but in a dark mode. All right, this makes sense. And here we got a very simple button. And let's change the name 
to like login all right so here we have a button which says login and we have created this very simple button now what i can do is in order to make sure that the alignment is proper what we can do you can go over to view section over here and show grid now this will allow you to see the grid over here and where you can arrange your login in the proper position in the center kind of thing like that and also you can turn this off and you are ready to go now also one thing I have noted that this is very small so what I can do is change the width and height a bit. For example in this case we can change the width to 200 and height to like 45 or maybe uh, let's change it to 35. This looks great. Alright so here we have a very simple login button you can also change the font in the login field so you can change it to anything like this one maybe this one this one looks great so once you add this button you can see this layer option over here you can select the frame you can select the layer once you select this button you will see the properties for the button and once you select the frame you will see the properties for the frame also you have the option to cut copy and paste the widget over here and you can also delete it or simply you can uh, duplicate it straight away here. Now once you are done, let's try to create a box. So we need an entry field, right? Let's add an entry field and let's select this button and let's see the property. So we have a width of 200, right? So we want to change the width for this also to around 200. This makes sense also and also the height should be around 40. All right, we can change it to like 37. You can change it accordingly. And also you can change the foreground color. For example, here I can choose this foreground color and also just increase the brightness a bit. Kind of like this. All right, this looks great, but also we can change the border color. So let me show you how can you do this. You can simply select this border color and change this color to like this one. And also you can select the border width. You can increase or decrease it. So for instance, let make sure that this is up to here. This looks super great. All right. Let's say we have this corner radius. You can decrease it or you can increase it. Let's see, we want to just decrease it to be like this. And let's say we want to add like enter name here and you can see we have a name option like this so what you can do is now add a label all right so as you can see when we add a label it has a color which is foreground color so i'm going to be changing it to kind of the same color which we have like there and also you can change the text color for instance let's change to be white all right that looks super great and let's change it to be like all right, this looks really cool. And also you have this option to simply log in and you have the name and options all done. Now, what we can do, we have to duplicate this, right? So what you can do is simply you can copy and paste it again. And once you paste it again, you can just make sure to align it. So in order to align it again, we will be using the view and grid option in order to add a proper grading over here. And also you can change the label again. You can copy it and paste it again to add another label, maybe like this. And you can kind of work with the final output. All right, let's change this name to like password so that user can enter their password over here. So I just type here enter. So you can click on this login button in order to log in into the web app. All right, so this UI looks great. So now what you have to do is simply export it, right? So in order to export it, you can go with the file option over here and export as Python. So once you are here, you can add in a name like login app and simply you can choose your location. And as you can see, our app is fully functional. You can enter your name, your password, and you can click on login in order to login into your GUI. So this is the very basic GUI that we have created in this very simple video. You can change this entire code in order to get the proper GUI. So this was the very first video creating a very simple GUI using our tool Buildify. I hope this video was really helpful and if it was then consider subscribing and we are going to also create more application like this for you guys. Stay tuned. Goodbye.